Hello there, my name is Ismas and welcome to another Blender quick tip and today we're going to be looking at uh, how to use uh, video textures in Blender. So I have a TV here, uh, say I want to use it uh, to have a video playback on the screen here. So that is very simple. So let me just make sure I set up a material here uh, for that screen to use. Just create a new material and uh, assign uh, the screen uh, that material. Yeah. So it's very simple. If you have an image, just drag and drop it. So if you have any video uh, that is supported, uh, Blender supports a, a lot of formats, but uh, you need to test and see if the format you have uh, is supported. But uh, MP4, AVI, MOV, most formats are, are supported. And uh, especially if Blender exports uh, that format, it should be able to import it as well. So let me import a video here, a quick video here. So. Yeah, if you drag it in, it will import it as a video uh, with different uh, settings from what image uh, nodes uh, look like. <coughs> so, yeah, then you would just co connect it, connect this like any other node uh, to the base color like that. Uh, but uh, uh, since uh, this screen is a, depend because of my UVs, uh, I need to set up new UVs at fit uh, the screen here. So just go under the object data and I will create a new UV. I'll name this for the sake of the tutorial. So I'll call this TV screen and uh, UV unwrap this. So uh, let me make sure I'm seeing the UVs. I make sure you're not affecting any other UVs or you have the right text selected. So sorry, UV selected, UV map and then just unwrap or because this is giving me a lot of deformations I'll just use smart UV projection so that I get a more uh, non-deformed or smart sorry flat UV projection and I think I can preview the video here as well so and uh, now I need to use this UV as my um, my UV map here. So for that, just go under shift, just add uh, a UV map input and uh, select uh, the TV UV map you created here and use that as the vector. So I think uh, the UVs are rotated, so I will rotate this uh, rotate 90, negative 90 degrees and uh, scale this the X axis and also make sure they fit so if you play back as you can see that's it's playing back let me go to layout so that we can see the timeline and uh, go to materials here you can see that uh, I'm playing back but the video is play is not playing back uh, to get it to play back you just need to go under the the uh, the node here and turn on auto refresh you can see it will start uh, playing uh, for you so you can see at some point it stops playing uh, that's because if you go in the shading again uh, under the node uh, you can see you have to set uh, the number of frames you want uh, to play back and uh, because my timeline if we go back to uh, the layout is only 250 frames I will set that as my frames and you can see it just continued uh, playing uh, we have a UV issue here so you would have to go back to the UVs and uh, fix uh, that Let's bring it back here and see this is going out of the UV area so so it's a bit slow I think in the viewport for some reason but uh, yeah that's how you get a TV or a, a, a video texture uh, to play back. I think you can also, uh, because I saw this cyclic uh, option here, I think if you set, say, let's say 50 frames, 
and uh, they can loop over and over yeah so let's go back to layout you can see every time we hit 50 frames it loops back so you, if you have a long video you can you can choose what segments you want to play so you can even start choose the start frame so if I wanted the video to start at uh, let's say 50 frames and only play for a hundred frames and then look back uh, you can just you can basically choose oh I think yeah I think I kind of switch that around but uh, if you want this to start later to start playing later uh, you need to I think the offset is what does that maybe not I think because of this cyclic yeah if you have cyclic turned on uh, it won't have uh, that pause uh, that you add uh, with the start frame and the offset so yeah so it starts playing at 50 frames uh, because of the start frame we start we set yeah so that's how you import textures video textures in blender and uh, make them play back